I used to trip out being like, what am I going to do? Because I obviously knew eventually I wasn't going to be able to skateboard. And it would just be like a constant panic attack of like, well, I guess I'll just have to kill myself when I can't skate. Like, you don't like anything else. Well, don't go doing Did, that. No, yeah, well, now I like fishing. over Stampede Reservoir, I got backseat David Gravett. Yo, yo. David is, uh, I think, most well known for his incredible skateboarding. Uh, Pacific Northwest, 36-year-old professional skateboarder. Um, so David and I connected yesterday in Truckee and decided we were going to go fly and try to catch some fish. So we're headed northbound up towards Lake Davis and uh, go see what we can do. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, this is insane. Oh man, I'm stoked to fly you. I know how to catch fish, but I don't know what I'm doing. Well, based upon all of what you're putting out there in the world, it sure looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah. I have a lot of friends that are really good at Abbott. fly fishing and guides and stuff. They definitely taught me a lot. I wasn't a very easy to teach. I would literally, like, most of my friends knew they needed to just not try to teach me about casting anymore, and I was just gonna do my own thing no matter what they said. Anything physical, it's like I, I've had to figure it out on my own. I like to be given ideas and stuff of what to do, but then when it comes down to the actual motions about it, like, yep. I just gotta figure it out myself. My shoulder and wrists and stuff are all jacked up, so I've pretty sure I've developed a kind of a unique way of casting. Definitely not a 10 to 2 guy. Adapting how you need? Yep. How's your body? Are you all broke other than your, your ankle? How's the rest of you holding up? Not too bad. Been skating quite a lot. Like the rest of the body's been doing pretty good. I think the all the fishing cross training really paid off. Wading rivers is like the absolute best thing I think you can cross train for skateboarding with. Every step I take, I'm almost falling over. I don't have studs or I, my, my wading boots are way too slippery. And you're triggering all those little muscles to stay balanced every step. I don't, something's going on because before I fished, I would get hurt for like a six month injury or something. Yeah. And when I came back to skating, skating would always feel like so foreign and like, I'd have to spend weeks getting my board control back. But then now I feel like I'll get hurt and not skate for months and then first day back I'll just film board tricks or something. Like it doesn't feel like I've been off my board when I get back on. That's awesome. Maybe I should start walking around in the river more. I feel better on my skateboard. So Beckworth fire burnt like all the mountains and everything to our right and then Caldor burns a million acres off our nose. Dude. Although you're not foreign to forest fires up in Oregon. Every, no. time, every time I fly up to Oregon, I'm like, man, no wonder this place just burns. Yeah, it stops raining long enough, just long enough to catch fire at the end of summer. Yeah, it's gnarly. And the forest is just so thick forever. I mean, it's insane to me. We have a burn ban, and like, you go to a campground, everyone's got a freaking everyone's fire. Got a fire and, gone. Like, yeah. People leave their fire. Dude, I was there, I was right at a forest fire that started on the Deschutes River when, like, it was just me out there, and I heard an explosion. Oh, my God. And I look over, and the whole hillside's on fire, and, like, this dude comes out all, like, he did look like he'd just been in an explosion. Like, oh, my God. And, um, I was like, are you, are you all right? What happened? He's like, I was cooking on my camp stove on the ground and it caught the grass on fire and that's it and i'm like you literally have a river right here with like shore and rocks and you can put your camp stove on there and it's like 25 30 mile an hour winds this day with dry grass everywhere and you're like i'll put my propane stove on the ground oh man yeah. we were camping uh, it was a buddy of mine's bachelor party we were on the channel islands out at anacapa and uh, not a fire scenario but we were we were told going out there that it was like breeding season or whatever for the seagulls. Don't disrupt the seagulls, stay on the path and just camp in the one little designated area. And uh, 
somebody in the camp went to fire up. There was like a little leak out of the valve, just started spewing flame out the side and couldn't get it turned off quick enough. Everyone sort of scattered and we just left it sitting right on the ground. And the thing 30 seconds later explodes and uh, every bird in this habitat on the entire island, you know, lifts off at the exact same time. And I'm like, we just disrupted probably 100,000 birds in mating season. There's this one little tiny ranger hut where the, there's like two rangers on the island and pretty much nobody else. And uh, I just could remember it was like looking from almost like here to the buildings you could see out in the distance. You could just tell they're just sitting there with their arms crossed going like, what the hell did these dipshits do? It was too funny. And so it was like sitting right next to this camp chair. Boom, blew up. And we came back just, you know, seconds later and the camp chair was just smoldering, totally torched. Have you been up to Washington, Oregon much? In the early 2000s, like when the Dreamland and Grind Line was going crazy, we would go up there a lot. We were skating like Tobin's pool, does that thing still oh, yeah. exist? Dude, honestly, I don't know. Tobin was a really good friend of this guy, Bruce Adams, who started Skate Colorado way back in the day. And I met Tobin through those that group of dudes. So I spent a bunch of time like, kind of just doing the Northwest trips, kind of we'd go like coastal, like Brookings and Newburgh or whatever, Newport, yeah. that was McMinnville, the and hit all the stuff all the way up to Orcas, and that was kind of our like summertime jam. I wish they, it seemed, they kind of like really toned down like the skate parks they're making. Did they? Like, I mean, there's no more like Lincoln Cities popping up or stuff like that, or? I would say they haven't built like a Lincoln City or a Newburgh in like, quite some time. Interesting. I think towns are wanting skate parks more like, all right, Red, like you better not build a 20 foot oververt bowl. I think they're putting governors on Red. It's what put Oregon skate parks on the map and like what people travel to like come ride is yep. like the craziness. But then you also have to be like, all right, these kids, you're building a skate park in these small towns where they don't have much going on and like, they're like so stoked to get a skate park and then they're like, well, the majority of it's stuff that's like too big for me to ride. Right. It just needs to be like a bit of both. But there's only so much new creations I think you can come up with maybe, I don't know. There's, I'm sure there's some more out there, but are they as infamous? Right. Oh, that was an otter. Oh, was there? So if we came in right here, touch down right on that trail, see if we see any. Trail looks pretty darn clear, some sagebrush, and we can taxi almost all the way back. That could be, that could be a go. We do one more, uh, one more pass. So if I came in right through here. And we would roll it right here. In through that sagebrush. Right over all, uh, I don't know if I like that. There's some pretty decent bumps in there. Sometimes you don't see any of those like divots and bumps until you're that was crazy that we just blew that close to the ground. I'm just wondering if, if there was good landing on the little trucky, if we just kind of know we can catch a fish. Let's go check it. We might have already got to all the good ones.
gosh. Ah. All right, out here at the little trucky. We're gonna attempt to catch some fish. I think we got it though. Yeah, we got Maybe it. Maybe a, a little one for sure. We gotta get something at least. Say we did it. I mean, we've landed a few spots, but no fishing yet. All the streams that I thought would be running were dried up. It's crazy.